So in my last video, I discussed product empties. In this video, I will discuss products I will never purchase again. I, I've seen so many tutorials on it, but the very first tutorial I saw on this product was by a girl named Mop Top Maven or Mop Top Raven. She did an excellent tutorial on it. Her hair came out perfectly. Her hair appeared soft. When I tried it on my hair, it was an absolute disaster. And I followed the directions perfectly, so I don't really know what happened. I also tried it for a face mask. I did not like the way my my face tightened and pulsate and it does say on the directions that your face will pulsate and I also tried it for my eczema which I have a really really detailed eczema vid video coming up soon so you want to tune in for that but this did nothing for my skin it did absolutely nothing for my hair I thought it would perform like the conditioner, which it did not. My hair didn't feel hard, but it didn't feel extra moisturized like it normally does. This smells like mayonnaise to me. The smell was horrible. Smells are very important to me when it comes to products. If I can't tolerate the smell, no matter how well it works on my hair, I will not use it. And that's probably the number one reason why I will never purchase this again. purchased this from TJ Maxx. It reminds me a lot of bio silk. I can't stand bio silk. I don't like the way it feels in my hair. Kind of like chi oil. I don't like chi oil. It has that feel, that consistency, and it makes my hair feel coated. I don't like when anything makes my hair feel coated. I want my hair to feel free and, you know, just, you know, smooth. And my hair is moving. It has movement. You know what I mean? It's not stiff. And if a product makes my hair feel stiff or weighed down or residue I get rid of it. So you're supposed to blow dry your hair with this or, or go under a hooded dryer when using this. Either way, like it doesn't matter if you blow dry your hair or you place your, your if you sit under the dryer, it still shouldn't make your hair hard. This made my hair hard. Like it felt waxy. It was so much buildup. If I'm going to buy a product, I want it to be easily washed out. You know, I shouldn't have to clarify my hair every time I use a product. I will not be buying this again. I didn't realize I didn't like the smell of rosemary until I purchased this. So the smell I can't take just like tea tree oil can't stand the smell of tea tree oils and also it didn't really do anything for my hair my hair felt like it wasn't being it, it just felt like it didn't really penetrate my hair yes yeah, so I was really disappointed this was $9.99 at Whole Foods it's not great for my hair but it makes an excellent foot soak so I put like 10 drops in a bowl of hot water and soak my feet with it so I'm not trying to waste no money so I do find use for products that I don't like I will never purchase this again but I still made use of my $9.99. Apple <laughs> G two step protein treatment. I was using this protein treatment months ago when I was trying to find a solution to my shedding. Of course, we all know that the shedding was internal, it wasn't external, so this protein treatment did absolutely nothing for my hair other than made it hard over time. Now, it didn't make it hard with the first application, but I would say four applications later, my ends felt dull, very stripped, breaking everything. Um, it, I will never use protein again. I went all of my life, y'all, without ever using protein. I didn't use protein until I came to YouTube. I feel as though you should get your protein internally through diet or supplements, but I mean, I don't really find it necessary for me to take protein, um, put protein on my hair. Anything that you've done to alter the natural condition of your hair, perhaps you may need protein, but I would consider my hair to be pretty healthy because I don't have any chemicals in my hair other than the dye, which is pretty much grown out. All of this has grown out. I trim my ends often so that dye is eventually, it's growing out and as it grows out, I cut it out. So my hair pretty much doesn't really need protein. No, so I'm never gonna do protein again. 
this is supposed to put the moisture back into your hair after doing the two-step protein treatment but after applying this to my hair and leaving it on for 30 minutes my hair still felt wiry hard horrible so then I went right behind this conditioner with the Joyco moisturizing conditioner because the Joyco if that doesn't put moisture back into your hair I don't know what will so to me this sucked as a, a balancing moisturizing conditioner no I won't be purchasing this again VO5 shampoo need I say more I was not impressed with this conditioner. It did not offer a lot of slip. I just didn't like it from the jump. And as a matter of fact, it's still pretty full. But yeah, won't be purchasing this again. Yo, ISO Plus used to be my, mm. I used to buy their sheen all the time. I, mean, I would never put sheen in my hair now. I use this for all of my roller sets until one night I ran out of ISO Plus. And I decided to do a roller set without it. And to my surprise, that was the best roller set I ever received. My hair has so much bounce, so much body, just by using water. It's because of that night, that's the reason why I no longer use anything in my hair when I do roller sets. I get more bounce, more voluminous look, more movement when I use nothing in my hair at all. And because I don't use setting lotion, water only, I will be passing this along to my sister. Very, 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 very stripping. You only need one application with this stuff, honey. And my hair was wiry, hard. The tangling was a complete disaster. Horrible. And it's and, and, and it's sulfate-free, too? I thought sulfate-free was supposed to be, like, all that. As you can tell, I don't buy my, my products according to the ingredients. But regardless, it didn't work for me. It may work for you, but it didn't work for me. So I am trashing this. This is the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Moisture Milk. I purchased this a year ago. I don't know why I purchased it because my hair really does not like water-based moisturizers. I knew that when I purchased it, so I'm not gonna bash the product. Really, all water-based moisturizers makes my hair feel dull, makes my hair hair feel coated, and like it has a like a bunch of residue on it. It just it doesn't matter what moisturizer it is. My hair only takes well to serums and oils, not water-based moisturizers. Giovanni Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture Conditioner. I purchased this in uh, January of 2000. 12. Before purchasing this, I had never used a leave-in conditioner. I was never fond of the idea of leaving a conditioner in my hair. It just, it seemed like it would really weigh my hair down and make it dull and residue-y. And that's exactly what this conditioner did to my hair. It made it dull, residue-y, and kind of crunchy, sort of. I don't believe I used this since 2012, like half left. I just never used it. My hair was not wild by it. It didn't do anything really special for my hair. And I actually get more out of conditioners that are not meant to be leave-ins. The 50-50 balance conditioner that's not necessarily a leave-in, I like that much better than this one. Now don't get me wrong, I love Giovanni products, but I don't like their leave-in conditioner. Nah, I'll be purchasing it again. Mm. 